how to make a ring chandelier with embroidery hoops. Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a glam ring chandelier with embroidery hoops. I'll be using three different sizes for this project. This is a requested video and I was supposed to use larger embroidery hoops for this project, but for now I'm going to be using smaller sized hoops. For illustration purposes, but if you want a much bigger chandelier, then you can go ahead and use larger hoops. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this out and spray paint them silver. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I had to measure around the hoops just to know how much of the gems that I'll be needing for this project. Each pack of these gems have 14 pieces. So for my measurements, I'm going to need six packs of these gems. And six packs is going to cover all three rings for the chandelier that I'm about to make. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. And remember, when you go to the link, you have to pick the color of your choice. Now in the request from the inspiration photo, I'm supposed to have gems inside and outside. But on the inside, I'm going to be using bling wrap because this is going to be cheaper than using the gems on the inside. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the gems on the outside. I'm going to do this for all three rings. There's not enough space here, so this last piece here is going to be overlapping. Just like the second ring, the space here is not enough for the last piece, so it's also going to be overlapping. It kind of looks okay because it's not that noticeable. Here are the three rings that have been covered. I'm going to keep this aside and take a ring-shaped item that I had at home. And this is what I'm going to use to have the rings mounted to the ceiling. I spray painted it silver, but then the other side was just slightly spray painted silver because that's the part that's going to be flushed to the ceiling. I'm going to drill holes where the strings are going to pass through. I made a mistake with the second set of holes, so I'm going to be drilling the actual ones on top of the first mistake that I made. And the third set of holes are going to be away from all the rest but closer to the rim. This is a fishing line that I'm going to be using to connect the rings to the plate for the ceiling. I'll be using three strings per ring and I'm cutting each string now to be 20 inches long. And then when I've had the strings attached to the rings, I can then now adjust the height to suit the design. I'll be using tape to hold down the strings to make it easy for me to adjust the height. I 
and passing the strings at the openings that I have in between the gems. I attach three strings here and I'm also going to be attaching three strings to the second and third ring. I'll be starting with the smaller rings and the smaller rings are going to be inserted through the first set of holes that I made. I'll be using tape to hold the strings down to make it easier for me to adjust them. The third ring will have its strings passing through the holes that I made that are closer to the outer lip of the ceiling mount. I made the distance between each ring to be about 4 inches. When you're sure of the adjustments that you've made on the strings, you can use a hot glue gun to hold it down even more. But because I have this feeling that when I have it mounted, I might want to adjust it again, I'm just going to leave it this way. And it's not even heavy at all. So which makes it perfect for me to just leave it with the tape on it. I'll be mounting this to the ceiling with command strips. My chandelier is not that large, so I'm going to have it installed right here. And it's the perfect space for the size. I already have a light fixture there, so when the light is on, it reflects on the gems and on the back of the gems that gives off a reflection as well. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. The size is okay for the space where I have it. Now, if you're going to put it in a much wider space, you're going to have to get much larger embroidery hoops. And more hoops, that's going to look like more rings to make it much more interesting. I was I had spent those years I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. The light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together